Well, so President Trump no longer holding back, questioning allegations made by Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh's accuser. Christine Blasey Ford says she may be willing to talk to the Senate committee next week about her allegations that Kavanaugh sexually assaulted her in the early 80s during their high school years. ABC's Kenneth Moulton has the latest from Washington. Today, President Trump is ramping up his attacks on Christine Blasey Ford's credibility, the woman accusing his Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh of sexual assault. He is a fine, fine person. The president back on the campaign trail in Las Vegas defending Kavanaugh, but first sitting down with Fox News. Why didn't somebody call the FBI 36 years ago? The alleged sex assault wouldn't have been a federal crime when Blasey Ford claims Kavanaugh attacked her at a party in the 80s. On Twitter this morning, the president doubled down, tweeting if the attack on Dr. Ford was as bad as she says, charges would have been immediately filed. The Washington Post has reported Blasey Ford claims she told no one at the time because she was a terrified teenager afraid of getting in trouble with her parents. Blasey Ford's sister-in-law telling ABC News coming forward was not easy. I'm sure she's preparing mentally to um, embrace her truth and and um, kind of get past the things that have made her feel like she has to hide it and be silent. Blasey Ford's team continues negotiating with the Senate Judiciary Committee about her possible testimony next week. But the top Republican in the Senate seems convinced the nomination will be approved. In the very near future, Judge Kavanaugh will be on the United States Supreme Court. <laughs> Kavanaugh denies the allegation against him, and he told the Senate Judiciary Committee he's eager to defend himself and clear his name. Kenneth Moten, ABC News, Washington.